I can't stop laughing about how Joe Biden keeps calling Obama his buddy. Boy, is he hard to watch. He wants Obama's endorsement so bad, it's killing him. And to see him mumble his way through speeches is cringeworthy. Joe has always been a gaffe machine, but I'm not sure it's not senility at this point. He's confusing issues and people, he sounds drunk half the time, and he keeps reminding everyone that he's buddies with Obama. It's kind of sad. His campaign is built on two things, calling Trump a racist and telling everyone he's friends with a cool black guy. But I'd be careful if I was him. The last person who was seen as being Obama's third term lost. I bet Biden thought he was going to get to have a moment like Hillary had with Obama. Do you remember that hug? That ridiculously fake embrace? And come on, does anyone really believe that Biden does not want Obama's seal of approval? And how could Obama not possibly endorse his vice president? What does he know about Biden that Democrat voters don't? Probably the same thing that we all know. The same thing that has lost him the presidency the two other times he ran. There is nothing remarkable about the guy. He's not charismatic, he's not interesting, and he isn't especially knowledgeable about anything. They say he's a foreign policy expert, but I challenge you to find something he said that was particularly astute about any foreign policy issue. Look, Obama isn't endorsing him because Obama doesn't think he can win. And without the cool black guy's rubber stamp, he definitely can't win. And Biden knows it too. That's why he's constantly reminding us that Obama is his buddy. He's going for endorsement by association. Whether you call him Sleepy Joe, Creepy Joe, Sloppy Joe, or Below Average Joe, it's clear to see that he's on his third and final failed mission to become president. Not including the other three times he tried to lay a foundation for a run and didn't get any traction. He's been trying to get elected as president since 1980. And this time ain't going to be any different. I'm afraid that in today's environment, he's not far to the left enough for the New Democrat Party. And he's way past his prime to be good enough to debate his way into office. He may be leading in these early polls, but that doesn't mean much. Heck, leading in the polls the night before the 2016 election didn't mean much. To be a vice president that can't get the endorsement of his president says all you need to know about Joe Biden. That may as well be the first nail in his campaign coffin. And that's the simple truth. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, subscribe to our channel. And if you want to become a supporting member of Blue Collar Logic, click on the link in the description and give what you can. Thank you.